U.S. Special Representative for North Korea Stephen Began is in Pyongyang to discuss the details of the second North Korea-U.S. summit. He departed from Seoul on Wednesday for working high-level talks with his North Korean counterpart. And we have our Park Hee-jun on the line for us at the Foreign Ministry for more. Hee-jun, what's the latest? Jiyun, it's now day two of Vegan's visit to Pyongyang. He's believed to be continuing preparations for the upcoming summit with his new North Korean counterpart, Kim yok who is the former ambassador to Spain. The two sides are aiming to find some common ground between North Korea's demands and the United States' demands. The North has offered to dismantle its plutonium and uranium enrichment facilities that provide materials for the nuclear weapons. And that includes the permanent shutdown of its Yongbyon nuclear complex, and it could also offer to destruct its ICBM. But that's only if the U.S. takes corresponding measures. There is the possibility of setting up a joint liaison office in Pyongyang, declaring an end to the Korean War and providing humanitarian assistance. But Pyongyang has been mostly requiring the removal of economic sanctions. It would be difficult for Washington to remove them right away, but Began did say at Stanford University last week that the U.S. is preparing a special economic package for Pyongyang. And seeing how the North Korean leader highlighted the resumption of the Kaesong Industrial Complex and Kungangsan Mountain Tours in his New Year's address, these could also be the possible corresponding measures. And with less than three weeks remaining until the Vietnam summit, the negotiators in Pyongyang will also have to finalize the exact venue for the talks. President Trump has only announced that the second summit will be held in Vietnam from February 27th to 28th. It seems they have yet to decide whether it will be held in the city of Hanoi or Da Nang. Now, it's unclear whether the negotiations will be wrapped up today or whether they'll continue into the third day because there are a substantial number of issues to discuss. And without a clear set of agreements, it would be difficult to enjoy the success of the second Kim Trump summit. There's also speculation that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un may meet vegan before he departs. I'll get you up to speed with that when we hear more. See you.